Textbook costs are up 800% since the 1960s. And these guys are making them free. And this has saved students almost a billion dollars. They're also prototyping the textbook of the future, intelligent digital textbooks that create customized questions and can give immediate feedback while you're learning. Our ultimate goal is to improve learning for all humans, to think about ways we can help students learn more, better, faster. I went to school and studied opera performance, which is probably not the typical degree pathway people would think going from opera to, say, publishing slash technology. You can mean just like a little, like, operatic scale. <laughs> Il mio tesoro intanto. <laughs> One of the things you do in music is you take this complex information and turn it into some art form that helps people feel and emote. And you do the same thing in education. You take this information, you break it down, and you figure out how to share it with your students so that they can actually learn. But the reality is, many people are locked out of the current education system. Because the cost of these resources had just skyrocketed. You have a captive consumer model. Textbooks are sold to the faculty member, the faculty member then assigns it to the student, and the student has to go buy it. And so we looked at that and we said, this is, this is broken. There should be a better way to do this. At OpenStax, we really set out to reimagine how textbooks are delivered, how educational technology is delivered so that individuals can really own their own destiny. I wouldn't be at Rice today if it wasn't for OpenStax. This is Drew. He found a free OpenStax economics textbook in high school, and it changed the game for him. Once I realized how accessible it was, once I realized how digestible the content was, and the fact that I wouldn't have to pay for it, how much of a difference that would make. I would like for you to open up your textbook to chapter two. My name is Tanja Connerly. I'm a professor of sociology, and I've been using OpenStax in my classroom for over five years. The old publishing model is you buy a physical textbook. Our model is you get a physical textbook if you want it, download a PDF if you want it, use it online if you want it, get an app if you want it, whatever way works best for you for free. Using the word innovative is just really an understatement. And it looks like this approach is starting to have an impact on the market. So textbook costs for the first time in 50 years started to go down in 2015. And a lot of economists actually attribute this to the price pressure that open educational resources and open stacks have put on the market. When we think about all the work that we're doing, you know, access is fundamental, right? But that's step one. Step two is to build not just free textbooks, but intelligent textbooks. OpenStax is beginning to develop technology that provides students with personalized questions and immediate feedback. We have a team of cognitive psychologists, machine learning scientists, looking at the most cutting edge new techniques to create textbooks that learn about you as you learn from them, and then adapt to your individual needs and preferences as a student. You can live complete a problem and it can see how you're doing your work. It can analyze, you know, where you can fix up this and what are the good things that you're doing. It's artificial intelligence applied to learning. Another example of how OpenStax is leading a movement for open education. Open means to me opportunity. Thank you for coming today. Uh, my name is Drew Carter. I'm here on behalf of OpenStax. OpenEd is a national movement. When I first came to my first open ed, it was maybe 100 people, and now there's thousands, thousands of advocates and passionate individuals that are championing this idea of opening up access, opening up opportunities for innovation. OpenStax textbooks are currently being used in more than 56% of degree-granting institutions in the United States. And they say, this is just the beginning. These are the things that get us excited. How do we take education, reinvent it, and help more students succeed? How do we help all students succeed in making sure that they can achieve their educational dream? That's tremendous opportunity. That's tremendous upside potential. OpenStax! Daniel and the team at OpenStax have developed a solution to one of our country's biggest challenges. 
Subscribe to FreeThink to see more episodes of inspiring leaders who are catalysts for change in their communities. Thanks for watching.